Hello everyone, welcome back to Crown Geek. In this video, I will be explaining that how to increase your internet speed on your Windows PC. So this will be applicable for Windows 10, 11, 7 or 8, whichever operating system, Windows operating system you're using. Now before going ahead and doing some kind of settings and changes on your PC, I would recommend that you should try connecting to Ethernet connection instead of your Wi-Fi. So probably if you are using a PC and if you have the Ethernet connection, if you have the LAN cable, then it's better to connect with the LAN so that you can enjoy the more and stable speed than your Wi-Fi. Number two, if you are connected anyhow to the Wi-Fi, then make sure that you are very close to your Wi-Fi router. So wherever is your workstation, wherever you work most, wherever your laptop or PC is, so make sure that you just set up your router nearby to that place so that you can get more frequency. And once you are, are sure of all these points, then you can go ahead and check your internet speed. So you can just hover up to a website called speedtest.net. Now once you come to this website, click on go. And now it will go ahead and check the ping, the download speed and the upload speed. Now in my case, you can see the ping is 13, that is 13 and that is okay. Now if you're in your end, if you're getting the ping that is more than 13, which is like uh, somewhere like 30, 50, 80, then in that case, you just try restarting your modem and router. And again, you have to check your download speed. If you are getting above 30, above 20, so you just need to check your plan. So you just contact your service provider, internet service provider and check back that which exactly plan you are using and how much, what kind of downloading and uploading speed they are providing to you. Check back here if you are getting very similar or almost the same speed provided by your ISP, it's okay. Now we can move ahead and just follow the steps. And in case if you are not getting this kind of speed uh, offered by your ISP, then you just need to contact them complain them and tell them to fix it all right now what are the settings the first thing that we have to do is we need to disable the windows update service all right so how you can do that you just press the windows and r key and type services dot msc and now this services box will be coming up and here you have to look for a service that's called Windows Update. So press anywhere and then press the W key and then you will come to the W section. Now keep here scrolling down till you get Windows Update. Now you can see the services are running right now. What you have to do, you just need to make a right click on it, choose properties. And here in the startup type, it should be either to automatic or manual. You have to go with disabled. Just disable it then click on stop and then click on apply and then on ok all right now in case if you have to make any changes if you want to update uh, the microsoft uh, operating system in future then you can just come back again and just enable it from here so you just need to make a note somewhere that you have disabled this windows update mm -hmm. all right so now let's move to the next step where we have to make some changes with the delivery optimization so simply in the search box both on your windows 11 or 10 just type delivery and here you will find delivery optimization advanced settings click on it this advanced option will be coming up and in the downloading settings you have to check this option number one is absolute bandwidth but you have to choose the percentage of measured bandwidth and just check this option now here you will get two sliders check the first one and decrease the value to 5. Again with this one limit how much bandwidth is used for downloading updates in the foreground so you just need to make it 5 and that's it. Okay we are done with the second step. In the third we have to disable the metered connection. So whichever like you can disable for Ethernet, you can disable for the Wi-Fi, whichever, however you are connected. So just open your settings, make a right click on the Windows icon and choose settings. 
Now here choose network and internet. And now you have to click on the properties depending that how you are connected. If you are connected with your ethernet then you have to click on properties on this one. And if you're connected with the Wi-Fi, then you have to click on the Wi-Fi properties. Once you come here, scroll down a bit and you will find metered connection. That is metered connection. Just disable this. That's it. Just close it. And now in the next step, we have to make some changes with the DNS server address. So you can have to make a preferred and alternate DNS server address to google or to either cloudflare so this is optional i would recommend that you should go with google now let's see how you can do that press windows and r key type ncpa.cpl and here you have to look for the one through which you are connected so if you are connected with the wi-fi then you have to make a right click on the wi-fi but if you're connected with the ethernet then you have to follow the same step with your ethernet connection I will go with Wi-Fi, just make a right click on it, choose properties. The Wi-Fi properties will be up. Now here click on Internet Protocol version 4, then click on properties. And here where it says use the following DNS server address. Just check this box. And now here you have to type 8888 and then 8844. Just click on OK and then click on Close. All right, so now we have to go with another important setting that we have to disable some unwanted application, especially the OneDrive and the OneNote. So unwanted application that run in the background, they most of the time they occupy your bandwidth, either in updating their application or either in syncing or in connecting. So we have to disable them because we are not exactly using it. So how you can do that, just open your settings, make a right click on the Windows icon and choose settings. Now here, go with privacy here. And then you have to look for all the applications. So just look for the background apps. Here you will find background apps. Now. You have to just disable all of them that you don't either use it, you don't uh, recognize it or you don't use it. Now there will be two benefit of this. This will also increase your performance of the device. Like you can occupy a lot of uh, CPU and the memory usage. And also it will increase the internet performance. So 3D Weaver, I don't use it. So disable this. Alarm and clock, calculator. Similarly, Lively Wallpaper, Microsoft Photos, Microsoft Store, I use it so I will leave it. OneNote. This is the important one because this always keep connecting with the internet and it occupies a lot of bandwidth in the background. So you need to disable this. And similarly, there should be some like uh, OneDrive. You have to also disable OneDrive. Then the weather and Xbox Game Bar. I don't use it. Tips, I don't need it. Sticky notes, I need it. A snip and a sketch. A Skype, phone link, paint 3D. So same, you have to look on your PC in the background apps. Just check for all them that you don't use. Just disable them, okay? Once done, you just need to close it. And now finally, you have to run an antivirus scan and a malware scan. So whichever PC you have, whichever antivirus you are using, it's a third party like Kaspersky or the Norton, then you can run a full scan. If you don't have none of them and using the Windows default security, then you can open that. Virus and threat protection. And just go with a quick scan or a scan, click on a scan option. And from here, choose full scan. Now this may take some time, so you need to keep patience. And as a first option, you can also try quick scan, okay? Along with this, I would also recommend that you should try running the malware so you can just download a free version of anti-malware byte or hitman pro and run a one-time scan delete all the infection restart your pc once you are done with this just clear your pc and the browser cache so very simple for clearing your pc your machine cache you just need to press the windows r and the run box will be coming up here you first need to type temp temp then click on ok 
And now here, these all are the temporary files. So press Ctrl A to select all. And then press Shift and the Delete key to delete it permanently. Okay, you can skip the rest, whichever is running in the background. Then again, open, press Windows and R key. Type percent, temp, percent again. Then click on OK. Again, this internet uh, properties will be coming up. Just press Ctrl A to select all. Then choose Shift and Delete. And delete all these items as well. Now, you also need to delete the cache of your browser. So whichever, like you are using Google Chrome, then uh, you can click on the three dot, then choose settings and privacy and security. And here you will find clear browsing data. Choose all time. You can uncheck autofill form data and password. Rest, you can check all of them and choose clear data. So most of the people tell me that they have the slow internet computer and internet speed when they're on the browser, when they're opening any kind of website or browsing anything. So what you have to do here, you just need to clear these caches and these uh, temporary file from your browser. This slow down your browser and we think that the internet is working slow. Okay, so this is another important settings. Once you are all done with this, just restart your PC then come back to your browser again and just check speedtest.net again and notice that is there any changes or not. If not, then probably you just need to check after one an hour and see that if you got any internet, good internet performance or not. And parallelly, what you can do, you can also restart your uh, device, your router and modem uh, one or two times. And still, if you have the problem, then you do not forget to contact your internet service provider. Let them know that you tried everything. Still, you have the poor internet connection. So that's all, guys. Hopefully, this will help you. And if yes, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.